uh, hi guys my name is Narayan and I welcome all of you in this video and in this video we are gonna uh, know about the OSPF neighbor adjacencies so very important topic and very important concept so we should be aware about uh, what are the neighbor adjacencies we have in this OSPF because OSP OSPF is a very uh, big topic and it has lots of additional uh, concepts so we will uh, know about all those things one by one in this video so first of all if we see here I have taken a diagram in which uh, there are five autos okay uh, all are connected through each other and I have taken one hello packet and w what will be uh, inside this hello packet or wh what will uh, this hello packet contains so we will know uh, all about one by one here so if we talk about this hello packet so it will be having like uh, router id information hello pack hello and dead interval neighbors area uh, area id router priorities dp ip address and also we will know what is the meaning of all those things one by one in this video so first of all if we see here neighbor ospf router must recognize each other on the network before they can share information because ospf routing depends on the status of the link between two routers so the concept of ospf is very clear it is a state uh, link protocol or it's a part of you can say it uses a state, a state link mechanism for the routing information exchange so it will create perfect adjacency or relationship or will share the proper information and uh, if it uh, only if it creates proper adjacency with its uh, neighbor routers and before sharing the information uh, all the routers should recognize all the neighbor routers before they uh, update their ospf uh, routing so a uh, next thing about this one is so, uh, very important this process is done using hello packet for this entire process there is a uh, protocol which is used as uh, hello protocol the hello pro protocol establishes and maintain neighbor relationship by ensuring bidirectional two two way two way communication between neighbors so the main role of this uh, protocol hello protocol is to maintain the relationship uh, between all the neighbor routers by two way communication uh, bidirectional or uh, you can say uh, the two way communication occurs when a router recognizes itself is listed in the hello packet received from neighbor so whatever information uh, this router is, uh, will have uh, it should match with this router also because uh, this router will contain information about this router on something like it is connected to port number this or this is the area id if this packet goes to this one so this information should have in that packet so the next thing about this one is uh, neighbor adjacency that a hello packet okay so uh, we will know about this in same video each interface that is participating in ospf use uh, uses ip multicast address okay if we talk about the uh, interfaces for example if we talk about here if this interface is uh, participating in this ospf it will use multicast ip address uses multicast address which is 224.0.0.5 to periodically send hello packets a hello packet contain the following information so if they are uh, participating in OS ospf uh, interface they will be uh, sending a periodic update uh, by using this multicast address and that uh, hello packet will contain lots of information the first one is uh, router id this one uh, this is the hello packet okay inside this hello packet all this information will be there so the first one is router id what is router id here the router id is a 32 bit number that uh, uniquely identifies the router so it will be a 32 bit uh, number uh, that uniquely identify uh, you can say the identification of, of a router unique id and just like mac address or ip address it is a router id the next thing about this router id is the highest ip address if we have two ip addresses here uh, uh, i have taken example here see the highest ip address on an active interface is chosen by default unless loopback interface or the router id is configured for example we have two routers here and we have assigned ip address like 172.16.12.1 and 
uh, 172.16.1.1 so what is highest ip here uh, what is lowest ip so the highest ip is 172.16.12.1 and the lowest ip is 172.16.1.1 so the router will take uh, uh, this uh, first type it is 172.16.12.1 as a router ID if we have not configured any uh, router ID manually or loopback interface okay so this is how uh, router ID selection will be done by routers here the next thing about uh, router ID this in uh, this in uh, this indication is an important in establishing troubleshooting neighbor relationship and accord uh, coordinating root actions so very important information uh, this is the one and it will play a very a huge role in troubleshooting and creating a proper relationship or coordinating root action between the routers so the, the, the very important uh, you can say the uh, uh, a component of uh, hello packet is router id the next one is hello and dead interval so what is the role of a hello and dead interval here we will know very important again this one so uh, the hello interval specifies the frequency in second at which routers and hello packets okay two thing is here first is hello and dead interval so the role of this hello interval is like sending a periodic update after a certain time the default hello interval on multi access network is 10 seconds so uh, 10 seconds will be your uh, default time for hello interval similarly uh, we have one more uh, interval here dead interval uh, uh, now we will see what is the role of this dead interval here the dead interval is the time in second that a router wait to hear from neighbor before declaring the neighbor route out of service so one is hello and second one is dead so the role of hello uh, hello interval is to uh, send the hello packets and uh, after that certain time and we have second one which is dead so after this uh, certain time of dead interval uh, it will consider if doesn't he hear any update from the never router it will consider that route or that path as out of service um, uh, now we have 10 second for uh, hello interval and we have if we talk about uh, dead interval so again we have some certain time here by default the dead interval is four times the hello interval so if we talk about uh, hello interval it is 10 seconds so uh, dead interval will be 40 seconds by default four times more as compared to hello pack, uh, hello interval uh, these time are most be the same on neighboring routers otherwise uh, and the sensor will not be established so this uh, timing of uh, whatever it is 10 second for uh, the hello or 40 seconds for that uh, interval it should be equal or uh, it should be same on all the routers then the proper adjacency will be created if it is uh, not same then there will be a problem and it will not create proper adjac adjacency the next one is neighbors now let's say a third component of hello packet is neighbors uh, the neighbors field uh, listed uh, adjacent router with established bidirectional commission communication the meaning is uh, in this uh, one neighbors it will keep information of all the neighbor routers through two-way communications now uh, this bi-directional or two-way communication is uh, in, uh, indicated when the router recognizes itself listed in the neighbor field of the hello packet from the neighbor so it's uh, the information of the uh, neighbor router or itself should be uh, available in this hello packet or uh, in the database of the neighbor router next one is next component of hello packet uh, or uh, this hello protocol is uh, area id so again this is a very important and very uh, useful and uh, very uh, important uh, component of hello packet or uh, in term of ospf if you are uh, dealing with ospf so we will know about this area id to communicate uh, to router must share a common segment and their interface must belong to the same ospf area of the segment so the meaning is very simple uh, if we have two routers here one and two here so there should be one dedicated area id and both the interface should be configured at same area id so i will show you when i will configure uh, routers ospf i will show you how to configure area id
नेक्स्ट थिंग अबाउट एरिया आई डी इज द नेवर मस्ट ऑल्सो शेयर द सेम शबनेट एंड मास्क द राउटर विल हैव ऑल से सेम लिंक स्टेट इन्फॉर्मेशन सो इट शुड बी फ्रॉम द आई इफ यू आर असाइनिंग वन आई पी टू दिस वन सो दिस शुड बी दिस इंटरप्रेस आई पी शुड बी फ्रॉम द सेम सबमेट सबनेट और सेम नेटवर्क नाउ द नेक्स्ट वन इज राउटर प्रायोरिटी नेक्स्ट कॉम्पोनेंट इज राउटर प्रायोरिटी द राउटर प्रायोरिटी इज एन एट विथ नंबर दैट इंडिकेट द प्रायोरिटी ऑफ राउटर एज आई सेड हियर सेड हियर one was uh, your router id and the second one is router priority so router id was your 32 bit okay now here router priority is 8 bit uspf uses a priority to select designated router or uh, backup router i will show you uh, in detail about uh, D, dr and uh, bdr in next videos so this this priority is helpful to select uh, designated router or backup dr so the role uh, the role of uh, dr and uh, bdr is like uh, one west route first priority and second will be your backup dr and bdr ip addresses there are uh, the ip addresses of the uh, dr and bdr for the specific network if they are known so there should be ip address uh, specific ip address for both the dr and uh, bdr so we will know in next videos i will uh, show you next one is authentication password if router authentication is enabled to router must exchange the same password okay i have uploaded one password uh, i mean one video in that i have shared uh, how to configure pap chap uh, authentication or point to point uh, authentication uh, in in that video i have sh uh, shown how to configure and uh, here we are uh, so the same thing should be here in that video also password should be same both the and and if you are uh, configuring authentication here so the password will be same for the both the routers authentication is not required but if it is enabled all peer router uh, must have the same password it is not required but if we are enabling it then it should be same the password should be same on the both uh, both the routers or uh, all the routers you can say now one uh, we have one more uh, component which is uh, stub area flag so a uh, stub area is a special area two routers must agree on the stub uh, area flag in the hello packet designating uh, a stub area is a technique that reduces routing update by replace uh, replacing uh, them with a default route so the, the concept of stub uh, area or stub uh, stub fl uh, uh, flag is to uh, reduce uh, the updates by replacing them with default route so we can uh, if with the help of this stuff area we can uh, create a default route and reduce uh, routing updates uh, so i will show you all those things practical how to configure in next videos so guys uh, uh, in this video this much only i hope this video will be informative for you and uh, if it is uh, helpful for you please do like my video do like my uh, i mean do comments on this video subscribe my channel and share it so that it can reach uh, for more people and if you want to subscribe my channel my channel url is here where i have uh, where i'm uploading videos in both the, uh, concepts mcitp which is windows server background and ccna and uh, yeah, keep watching my videos keep watching uh, my channel and wait for my next video bye bye